Here we go. That is right on the money. Oh, right where I was hoping you hit. This is a bigger fish. Welcome to another Fishtails episode. Today I'm fishing an Urban River right in a spot where I used to come a few years ago and uh, thought it was a pretty secret spot. They built a parking lot here since I've been here. And there's cars here. So I'm thinking uh, it's not so private anymore, not so secret, but come along, it should be good. My secret spot and we got some steps here now I didn't think that uh, existed either now we got a parking lot we got steps uh, I might see some fishermen as well here so we'll see who else knows about the secret spot let's go do it Just switched over to a tandem egg nymphing rig here, a little split shot between the two. One's a little kind of a zonker sucking little egg pattern. And then a little egg sac cluster on the top one with a indicator. See if they're gonna munch on this. I just worked this entire run all the way down to the end of this uh, tail out pool with the uh, egg nymphine system with uh, a tandem egg setup. Not a single bite. So I got a streamer and then I'm gonna try to swing through this area and actually set up two streamers, a white one in the front, a little zonker, and then a, a pink one with some steelhead colors and a little bead on it. So. There's the system. It's starting to rain a little bit. Let's see if we can get some fish. Here we go. Nice fish. Got the tandem streamers on. Not sure which one he hit yet. Nice little hole right in the middle. I'm fishing. And here we go. All right. So I have the white zonker streamer that I tie myself on the highest up tandem position. And on the lower one, I have more of a steelhead purple pink bead pattern streamer. And he just smashed that one. Looks like it might have taken the white one on top. Yep, he did. All right, come on over. Boy, does that have some pretty colors. There we go. Beautiful brown trout. Not a super big one. Just smashed that zonker. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the mouth. He passed on the on the one on the bottom there. All right, let's keep him in the water. Give her a good release. Well, here's the beautiful brown that hit that white zonker streamer. Not the biggest one of the year, but uh, definitely a, a fun little fish. Start the day off. Let's keep going. Let me let her go. So with my setup today, 
On the bottom one, I'm using a little weightless beaded streamer, mainly for steelhead, but uh, I've caught browns and all sorts of stuff on this one. And up about two feet, I have on the tandem rig, a zonker streamer that I tie. It's a little mylar strip, rabbit hair, just kind of swimming off the back end like a tail. I gotta say, I've caught more fish on this than any other fly. Bass, northern, trout, steelhead, they hit this thing. It just imitates so many bait fish types that it's just a good way to go. Let's go catch some more. Oh, I just, just stopped the camera to move and a big hit just at the end of the swing. I shouldn't have done that. Should have finished up my swing. Oh, and it just got off. Oh, I'm a fool. Couldn't keep the pressure on him. Just too much, too much going on and I failed on that one. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. It's late November and the water temperature is actually warming up as we go throughout the day. We're gonna have a cold front coming in later today that's gonna drop it to 10 below with the wind chill, but right now it's 40. So streamers are the way I'm gonna push as the day goes and see if they're gonna be more active with the warmer water temperature. Here we go. Oh, there's the swirl. Man, should have let him take it a little bit longer and turn his head. I got so excited. Two fish missed in a five minutes. Son of a gun, I don't know which one he took, but he had some weight. Head shakes were huge. Oh. Here we go. Nice. Just hit right off the shore. There we go. Oh, and he got off. I knew it. I didn't get a good hook set. Son of a gun. Jeez, right off that shore and just took me by surprise and did not really get a good strip set. Obviously, he got off. Oh, dang it. Here we go. Okay. That is right on the money. Oh, right where I was hoping he'd hit. This is a bigger fish. Boy, he hit that just so hard. And I'm pretty sure he hit it right on the end of the fly on the end. So that purple steelhead fly. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's coming at me. Don't tell me he got off. Don't tell me he got off. Okay, he's on. Come on. Come on. I had to drag a little too loose. And then he started coming right at me. This is a nice fish. Oh, man. Okay. Look at that. Jeez. Okay. All right. Oh, arm got a little tired there. Let's see what we got on the end of this line. Okay, I don't think he knows how close he is to me. What are we dealing with here? Oh yeah. He doesn't want me around him. Oh. So one on the zonker on top and now one on the steelhead fly in the bottom. Yep, they are in this spot. Caught one earlier, missed two, and now I got this guy. All in the honey hole today. Come on, oh no. He got some life in them. Yeah, this warmer water temperature that's been on this trend of 240 degree days, real late in December, just made these fish jumping after these streamers. That is just awesome. Here, I got my 
my tandem egg nymphing set up and hardly used it today. All right. Trying to get below downstream from him and work him right into me. Okay. What do we have? Appears to be a nice healthy brown. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go to shore now. Let's get above that little rock right into shore there he is let me tail grab him look at that just nailed that this big boy hit the uh bottom fly awesome fish lost a couple nailed this one so beautiful brown let's let him go 